Hi everyone. In today's history lesson, we're going to find out a little bit about kings and queens. Not every country has a king or a queen. Some countries have a leader called a president or a prime minister. In our country, we have a queen and a prime minister. When I was a little girl at school, the first king that I really learned a little bit about was a king that was in a big battle. The battle was called the Battle of Hastings in 1066, nearly a thousand years ago. And this beautiful uh, tapestry showed and told the story. The tapestry is called the Bayer Tapestry and it wasn't painted and it wasn't drawn, it was sewn with a needle and thread very, very carefully. It told us about a king. This man here was King Harold. He had a moustache. This is a painting of what people think he might have looked like. And this is the tapestry, part of the tapestry. And the man here with a moustache is King Harold. And sadly, in the battle, King Harold was shot in the eye with an arrow. Can you see the sort of yellowy golden arrow there pointing at him? And he was killed. This is the same part of the picture here. Can you see? With his shield. And it has his name above him. H-A-R-O-L-D. Harold. This is a coin with Harold from many years ago. You can see him with his crown. And we have our queen on our money today, don't we? Queen Elizabeth II. You might remember the names of some of these people. This wasn't a king. Can you remember his name? This is Guy Fawkes, isn't it? And Guy Fawkes wanted to blow up the king in the Houses of Parliament many years ago when James I was the king of England. There he is. Looking very powerful in all his beautiful clothing and his fancy shoes oh, and the amazing crown. So James I was the king from 1603 to 1625. And this man, his name was Samuel Pepys. And he was alive during the Great Fire of London. Do you remember, he wrote a diary about it. And that's how we know what happened in the Great Fire of London. And the Great Fire of London was in 1666. And this man here was the king. He was the king, Charles II. He became king in 1660 until 1685. Let's have a closer look at him. Can you see his crown? He's wearing a different crown, sitting on his throne. That's the special seat, isn't it, for a king or queen? And there are many other kings and queens listed here. Listen to some of their names. Sometimes uh, these names are chosen again as favourite names for kings or queens. I'll read the list and you see how many times you hear the same name. Henry, Henry, Edward, Jane, Mary, Elizabeth, James, Charles, Charles, James, William, Mary, Anne. George, 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 William, Victoria, Edward, George, Edward, George, Elizabeth. Wow, did you hear the name George quite a lot? You might know the name of this king. If you do, pause the video and tell your grown-up who you think he is. This king is one of the most famous kings. 
This was King Henry VIII. And he's famous because when he became king in 1509, um, he was married six times. He wasn't very kind to some of his wives. If he didn't like them, sometimes he divorced them and sometimes he had them killed. Some people were very frightened of King Henry VIII. Here's a queen. What's her name? Do you know? This is Queen Elizabeth I. So not our Queen Elizabeth today. This Queen Elizabeth became queen in 1558. And she's one of the children of Henry VIII. He had lots of children. And one of them was this girl here, Elizabeth. That's how she wrote her name. Can you see her signature here? Looks very fancy, doesn't it? With these squiggles underneath. And here's some coins from when she was the queen. You can see her face here on this coin. Who's this queen? Do you know her name? This queen you might remember from last year when we went on a trip to Abbey Museum. This is Queen Victoria and this isn't a painting of her. When Queen Victoria was alive, photographs and cameras had been invented. So she had her photograph taken. It's black and white and often black and white photographs are very old, aren't they? She became queen in 1837 for 63 years. She wore a lot of black clothes after her husband died. Her husband was called Albert and when he died, Queen Victoria was very sad. And always she was seen in black clothing. The fashion of those days became quite popular for other people to wear lots of black. You might remember one of the shops at Abbey Museum sold black clothing and black dresses and black umbrellas. Who's this queen? This is our queen today, isn't it? Queen Elizabeth II. And she's standing next to her husband, Prince Philip. And at the moment, Prince Philip is in hospital. He's a bit poorly. So we hope he gets better soon. Queen Elizabeth became our queen in 1953 and she has reigned. That means she's ruled over us. She's been our monarch for 68 years and she's still our queen today. This is one of her castles. This castle is called Windsor Castle. Sometimes she lives in this castle. You can see the battlements, can't you? Here. We learnt about castles in our last history lesson. It isn't on a hill, but it's still a castle. The Queen likes taking her dogs for walks. Here she is. She doesn't always wear Queen clothes and, and wear a crown. Her dogs are called corgis. This is another of her castles. This castle is in Scotland and it's called Balmoral Castle. Look, this one has beautiful turrets. Oh, look, it's got some arrow slits. This one again isn't on a hill, but it's still a castle. The Queen is very happy when she's at Balmoral Castle. She looks happy in this photograph, doesn't she? You might have heard of some of her children. This is her very big boy. So this isn't her husband. This is Prince Charles. 
and when our Queen dies, Prince Charles will be our King. And when Prince Charles dies, his big boy, called Prince William, will be our King. And when Prince William dies, his boy, his first big boy here, Prince George, will become King. Who's this lady? That's Kate, isn't it? William and Kate, you might have heard of their names. They're standing together outside Buckingham Palace in London on the balcony. This is the uh, family tree for the Queen. It shows the Queen here and it shows her mummy and daddy, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. It shows her sister, Princess Margaret, and her husband, Prince Philip. And then we have her children. She has four children, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. Prince Charles was married to a lady called Diana, the Princess of Wales. And she was killed very sadly in a car crash. Now, Prince Charles is married to Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall. Prince Charles and Princess Diana had two boys, Prince William, who married Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince Harry, who married Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Prince William has three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. And Prince Harry and Meghan, they have a little boy called Archie, and Meghan is going to have another baby. We've had kings and queens for hundreds of years. Some of them were good, and some of them were not so good, like Henry VIII. People started to think that there should be other people to help the king and queen make important decisions. So now we have a parliament and a prime minister is the boss of the parliament meetings. And he helps the queen to make choices. The queen listens and she offers advice to the prime minister. And do you know... Every week, our Queen, Queen Elizabeth, meets Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, to have a meeting and discuss things. And they've decided that schools can open again for everybody, which is great, isn't it? Imagine you had a meeting with our Queen. What would you say to her? What rules would you make if you were the Prime Minister of England? Have a good think and when you've got some ideas and talked about them, write some of them down. Draw some pictures to illustrate your ideas and then send your work to your teacher. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed our history lesson on Kings and Queens.